Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well, hope you're all having a good time. So today I look a bit different because I have a base on and eyebrows and I don't look my normal non-makeup self and there's a reason for that. So a couple of days ago my friend, shared Caroline, um, tagged me in a video on Instagram of this girl taking a palette and she numbered all of the eyeshadows in the palette then took those numbers like scrunched them up and put them in a hat and picked out three numbers and the numbers that she picked out corresponded to an eyeshadow and she had to use those eyeshadows to create a makeup look so of course when I was tagged in this I thought that is exactly what I am going to do for my next video um so yeah today <laughs> I'm going to let random numbers decide what shadows I am using on my eyeballs today for a makeup look. So I don't, this could end up a disaster, but it could be really funny and it could be, do you know what? It could end up amazing. I could end up doing something really cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> The palette that I have decided to use today is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette which should be interesting because the inside of this palette looks like this. So very colourful and I, I know what you're thinking Sky, you wear colourful eyeshadow all the time and you're right I do but I wear colourful eyeshadow when I have the option to choose what eyeshadows I am wearing. This is going to be interesting. I've seen a lot of people doing this on TikTok and they use palettes. Some of them use colourful ones, I will give that to them. Some of them use colourful ones. Some of them use nude eyeshadows or like an all purple or an all blue. And I don't mean to sound shady, but that's always going to work in your favour because those palettes are meant for, <laughs> for shades to be blended together. This one's not. Shades do work well together when you use the correct combination. Um, so I'm a bit scared that I'm going to get like a green and a purple and end up looking like the Hulk. That could be interesting, but we will see how this goes. So in the video that I was tagged in, um, she picked three eyeshadows. I'm going to go for four because that's, I don't usually ever do a look with three eyeshadows. It's usually four or five. So I'm going to pick four. Max has to be, there's 24 eyeshadows in the Jawbreaker palette. I'm so scared. First number today is going to be 24. Last one in the palette. Second number is going to be, can we generate again? Three, lovely. Eight, I'm very scared. Fourteen, so that's my four. So we will see what these correspond to. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> so the first one was 24, which is the last one, which will be this one right here. That's not too delicious, which it's going to be smoky. <laughs> number three is this one. The pink bubble gum. Number eight is this one, which this is a family friendly channel. So for today's sake, this eyeshadow is called Fudge. But it's not called that in real life. Finally, we have 14, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Orange juice. Okay. Could be worse could be worse. So we have one, two, three, four are the four colours that we're going to be using to make our eyeshadow today. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I think I'm going to do something graphic but cool. Which may be difficult but we're going to try. Right. So as always the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just applying that. I'm going to do one eye on camera and then we'll do the other eye off camera once I've figured out what I'm doing. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to go in with is the first one that I picked out, which is, well, Google picked out. I'm going to go in on a very small angled brush. So I think what I'm going to do is create like a, a wing with this. I'm just going to sketch out like a basic shape. Oh yeah, we're getting, this is exciting stuff today. Oh. I'm going to go in with this, this is like a wee tiny pencil brush and I'm going to smoke it out 
oh yeah, I'm gonna smoke this out. So just, I'm using a tiny brush for this and just using it to blend. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm going with just now. Up, I am going to go in with that second shade, Bubblegum, this one right here. And I'm gonna take that on that really tiny blendy, blending brush, blend this just above the navy. Very carefully. I'm also gonna take a bit along this liner that I've kind of started to create. Ooh. I'm going to go in and kind of make another kind of shape with an eyeliner using the shadows. So I'm with this shade, the neon colour called Fudge. I think this is going to be the best way to use this one. So what I'm going to do is just take an angled brush, just like this, and a wee spray of water. And just spray my brush a couple of times and then just go right into the corner. And you can see that just kind of... It gives you your own eyeliner tip for the day. So I'm going to make it go here. And then I'm just going to go in with a clean angle brush that hasn't been dipped in water. And I'm going to go back into that colour and press it over top just to try and get a wee bit more pigment. I think I'm going to put it in the inner corner, just very lightly and blend it out. So once I've kind of got that shape going on, it's a bit funky, um, I'm going to go in back in to bubblegum and I think I'm going to put this on the inner corner. So I'm just going to pop it right there, because why not? Just take a fluffy brush and kind of blend the edges of that out. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to dip back into that dark navy and smudge that on my outer corner. Back into that first blending brush I used and use that bubblegum colour to blend it out. I love everything to be nice and smoky, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have blended it out and I've taken it right out to make that shape nice and wingy. Um, so finally I'm going to go in with this, our last colour orange juice on a wee smudgy brush. I hope that this doesn't ruin it. I will be mad if it does because I kind of like this. I'm going to put this like right in here. Oh that's fun. Take that a tiny bit. I'm going to layer that actually. Oh I just did a thing. I kind of feel like a superhero. I'm like, I like this. This is awesome. How? Whoa. Okay, so eyeshadow wise, that is what we are going for. I, I kind of love the way that this has turned out. So I'm going to quickly go off camera, do the other eye, pop a liner on and some lashes and I will be right back. <sighs> okay, so we are back in business. So I've just went off camera and completed the other eye, trying to get this even was near impossible, but I think I did not too bad. I also just applied some black eyeliner just along my upper lashes, a nice pair of falsies. I put a navy in my waterline and I stuck a wee gem on because just, just why not? I thought it called for it. And I must say, I'm feeling very superhero, like very captain something. I don't know. Okay, so as I said before, I've already applied a base and I've put a bit of bronzer and a bit of contour on, so I'm just going to go ahead with Blush. The brush that I have chosen to go in with is this one. This is XOXO by Makeup Geek. It's just a nice pinky. It's got a hint of orange to it, so I thought it would tie in nice with the eyes. And it's got a wee bit of sheen in it. So take that on a pointed fluffy brush. And I'm going to apply it up here, as always, to give a nice lifted look. Oh, that's pigmented. I'm going to take a wee tiny bit over my nose, too. And a bit on my temples. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with a nice kind of pink rose gold shimmer just to tie the pinks and the navies in. I think that will be fitting. So I'm going to go in with this. This is the Revolution Highlighter in Just My Type. All the usual 
basis. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm just going to go ahead and do some lips. I think just to make this a tiny wee bit more wearable, I'm going to do a nude. However, I do think if you were like looking to push the boat out a bit, I think this would look awesome with like a pink or a navy. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably do that later and I'll put some photos over on my Instagram, which is skybmua. Um, all lowercase, you can go and check them out over there. Now we're going to go for a nude. So the first thing I'm going to do is just line my lips just using a nude lip liner. Okay, so once they're all lined and I've filled them in a bit, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a nude lipstick. This is Revolution Pro in the shade Truth. It just looks like that. Very nice. And I'm just going to apply that all over. And to finish off, I'm just going to go in with a bit of gloss. This is the Revolution Lip Topper in Luxurious. So there you have it. That is what happens when I let random numbers choose what eyeshadows I'm going to be using. And I'm not going to lie, this is probably my favourite look that I've ever done in my entire life. Like, it's so cool. That orange. I love it. If you try this out on yourself or you just try the challenge, then let me know. Tag me. Show me your recreations. Or just show me what you came up with. This is what makeup is about, like makeup's meant to be fun and experimental. So yeah, try it, it's great fun. I highly recommend. I will link everything that I used down below in the description box, as well as all my social media platforms. Go and give me a wee follow on them, like this video and subscribe to my channel, as well as hitting the notification bell to make sure you don't miss my next upload. As always, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. For the first number today, I feel like it's bingo. You're just like me. Trash. Check me out with those mad skills. <laughs> Get that self promos, guy. Get it. I'll find out what my, my superhero name would be. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I've just realised something. I match my mirror. <laughs> and my nails. <laughs> Very superhero. I'm like, I feel. Yes. It's superhero name time, so I've found a quiz that says, what is your superhero name? Let's find out, shall we? Sounds good, thanks. Let's go. Pick a superpower. Oh gosh. Heat vision, super speed, superhuman strength, tech savvy. I'm already that. <laughs> Not. Flying, weather manipulation, telekinesis or invisibility. I'm going to say flying. Just, yeah, so I can fly. Pick a superhero, where's Captain America? There he is. I pick a villain. Emma Frost, Magneto, Slade, the Joker, Red Skull, or Catwoman? Um, let's go with Catwoman. Let's represent for the females. What kind of area do you live in? Suburbs, small town, city, rural area, small town. If people need your help, how will they contact you? Be calling your secret phone, let's do that. What's your superhero attire? Metal suit, every hero needs a mask, leather, tights, or a cape. As Edna Mode says, no capes. No capes! I'm gonna say mask because I feel like this is very mask like. Pick a colour. Oh no. Purple, pink, black, white, blue, red, orange, or green. I'm gonna go orange. Because. Pick an occupation. Let's go. Let's go scientist. Because why not? Oh, calculating results. This is exciting. What's my name? Cobalt Fire. Okay, I kind of like that. This look is called Cobalt Fire. I don't really know how we managed to get from a makeup tutorial to picking a superhero name, but here we are.